Just days after North Korea's latest missile launch, the United Nations political chief is heading to Pyongyang for a rare four-day visit amid heightened tensions between the regime and the U.S. Let's bring in John Bolton, former U.S. ambassador to the U.N. and Fox News contributor. What can you tell us about this visit? I mean, how, how unusual is this? Well, I think what's particularly unusual about it is that it's an American who's the Undersecretary General for Political Affairs. Uh, Jeff Feltman, a, a career foreign service officer, uh, former U.S. ambassador to Lebanon, uh, has been in this position for a number of years. So if the U.N. Secretary General thinks there's any chance that Kim Jong-un and the North Korean regime have anything to say, as time gets very, very short here, for a key decision point, they may think saying it to an American is the is the best place to uh, to give it to get back to the White House. You have to think this is a, this is a rather long trip. I mean, is it, you're talking about a four day trip here. The UN spokesperson said uh, it's not in his current schedule to meet with Kim Jong Un, but he did not rule it out. Do you think that's a possibility he could be actually meeting yeah, with the leader of North Korea? Absolutely. In many countries, they don't ever say for sure you're going to meet with the numero uno until it actually happens. Happens, but but that prospect is there. I don't anticipate that North Korea is really going to have anything new and different to say. They may try and see it as a propaganda vehicle, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how it plays so out. So for his part, on his way over here, the U.N. chief, what do you think that he is going hoping to accomplish, not knowing their agenda? Well, I don't know what communication the State Department may have had with him, but uh, I know Jeff Feltman. I think he's a responsible person, and I think uh, looking at, the, at what we have been saying, what the H.R. McMaster said out at the Reagan Defense Forum, what the president himself has said, uh, that Kim Jong-un better appreciate that uh, Barack Obama is no longer president and the possibility of American use of military force against North Korea's nuclear capability is real. This is obviously coming amid heightened tensions between the U.S. and North Korea. How is the, the president's strategy working? Obviously, we've been reporting on the, um, the words exchanged, the rhetoric between the two world leaders. How is his strategy playing out in your view? Well, I think he had uh, a very bad hand he was dealt with when he came into office on North Korea, on the Iranian nuclear program while we're on the subject uh, because of 25 years of failure to stop both of those countries from getting across the finish line to having deliverable nuclear weapons. So I think President Trump saw that if there is a peaceful way out here, it comes in China using its unique leverage over North Korea. I think he made that point to Xi Jinping in Beijing. I have to say there's no evidence the Chinese have gotten the message. So I think you're getting very close to a binary decision. Either we leave North Korea with nuclear weapons, which I personally find unacceptable, or we've got to look at military force. But to your point, when you sat down here, the clock is ticking. Time is running out. What, is that? what does uh, the timing of all this look like to you? Well, from all that we can see, North Korea is very close to a point where they can deliver thermonuclear weapons to any target they want in the mm -hmm. continental United States. Obviously, once they actually achieve that point, the odds of us doing anything militarily approach zero mm -hmm. because of the risk of retaliation against us. So there isn't a lot of time to fool around here. There's not much of a margin of error if we're going to use military force. And if we don't, then you have a North Korea that can extort and blackmail the United States and sell these technologies yeah. around the world. And a big meeting coming up between that U.N. chief and uh, leaders in North Korea. Ambassador John Bolton, always good to see good you. To see Thank you. you for being here.